Hello, citizens of the internet, and welcome to a new LP. Welcome to Ape Escape. I don't know what it means. I don't know either. Let's dive in. <laughs> there, dude. Were you going to take the reins on I'm this one? I'm going to take the reins on this one. This is Ape Escape. Welcome to Ape Escape. I know uh, the other day when we asked on Twitter if you guys had suggestions for games to LP, you suggested literally everything but Ape Escape, basically. Pretty <laughs> much, but... Uh... So I've been, sorry about that. I've been trying. I've been kind of pushing to do this one for a while, and because this one's kind of near and dear to my heart, because I actually love this game quite a bit, and I know how much you all clamor for me to play games. So <laughs> here we are. Um, do you have any? Have you played this one at all? Nope. N not at all. Nope. Have you seen any of this at all? Maybe some? Maybe a little bit. Uh, I think... I know I've played Ape Escape 2. You've played 2. I don't know if I've played 3. Uh, I... you probably played 3. But you've not played the first one? Nope. Okay, so you don't know... So, but you get the gist of what's happening. Yeah. For Mon those you don't know... Monkeys have helmets on, they go weird, you gotta catch them. The professor there who's kidnapped there, or who's being hostage there made a helmet to the peak point helmet to make monkeys or whatever smarter and the monkey at the zoo somehow got a hold of it and now he's super smart and he's mass producing them giving to the monkeys to get out of the zoo and our main hero spike there is what i can jake <laughs> blue haired boy's name is jake they get sent back in time with this time machine and now we gotta capture the monkeys Take them back to the zoo, get the helmets, and capture Spectre, the white monkey. Alright. This was my first PlayStation game that I've ever that I ever owned, that I ever played. And I love it dearly. <laughs> this level should look familiar. That should look familiar to you. From uh, All-Stars Battle Royale? All-Stars Battle Royale. Pizasper? Yes. <laughs> the one thing that never made sense to me... And he's just saying, hey, you went back in time, dude, whatever. Um, with 2 and 3, 2, our main character, uh, Spike, he was a secondary character, and we got all dumb and stupid because the peak point helmets got reversed in 2 or something like that for humans through the TV, so he was dumb, and I believe the second character's name was Jimmy, and he w he didn't watch the TV or whatever the fuck the plot was, so he had to catch the monkeys, and 3 had a boy and a girl, and they had like different costumes instead of different gadgets, which... My big thing is, I don't understand why, I like, it was cool that they put Spike in All-Stars, but I don't know why they didn't keep him in 2 and 3 as the main character, like, as a flagship kind of guy, you know what I mean? Yeah, that does kind of seem like a it's, big misstep. Like, the professor's in it, and so is, I believe the redhead's name is Natalie, mm. and I can't, I can't remember her name. It does seem like in a game like this, uh... Like, the protagonist would be, like, a, like, yeah. a, like a mascot, almost. Yeah. But it was obvious that, that they wanted the mascots to be the monkeys, rather than any one central character. Another thing you might... You might notice is this was... Or not know, this was the first game that made the DualShock mandatory. Yeah, it had the... I didn't record it, but it had the splash screen... At the beginning, that said the Dual Shock is required for this game. Yeah, like I got this for I believe Christmas in 90, 99, 98, because this game had just come out when I got my PlayStation One, and my dad had to especially get me a Dual Shock for it, <laughs> and I can't think, and maybe you can correct me on this, I can't think of another game where the face buttons don't do anything except for switch weapons. Like, they don't do anything. I don't know. This was, you know what I mean? Like, I can tell you another game where it does that. Ape Escape 2. And Ape Escape 3, <laughs> but I mean, other than that, you know what I mean? Like, where X isn't jump, or triangle isn't jump, or attack, or anything like that. Yeah. Go we'll catch that monkey. I'm going to. I was giving away stories. Well, you're just standing there. They want to see action. Get that okay, monkey. Okay, got him. That 
that is something I didn't I didn't like, and I think they like L L two R two and R jump and stuff like that. So and like right stick does this, so it doesn't control camera. So camera's a little wonky. Yeah, and I can get that they uh, wanted the the dual the dual shock to be the big main thing. Yeah. So they and really couldn't like, have it work the camera, but. I think, but that's not what the norm is anymore. You know what I mean? So it's kind of weird. Games got far better when, yeah, using the right stick to move the camera became the norm. Because I don't, the camera is like L two. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's kind of weird. This monkey's outsmarting you by running slightly that's faster. That's because I'm I'm hitting X to jump, and that's not accurate. Fuck you, monkey man. So do you think this game would have? Uh, been as interesting if, say, right stick moved the camera and, like, R2-L2 switched your gadget and you used, like, square to swing the gadget? Uh, or do you think it would be... Do you think it would make it more boring if it was like I that? think it probably would have made it more boring, honestly. And to be fair, you know what I mean? I think DualShock had maybe been around, but it wasn't mandatory yet. Because mm. most games, you know... I don't know any games that actually used it or whatever, but I think for the time they didn't know what to do with it, you know what I mean? Because who knew if the DualShock was actually going to take off? Yeah. It could have been just some niche thing, and somehow it it lasted PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, it's on the Vita. I think it, Go was kind of set that way. It's kind of weird. So this is your main hub. This way is, I believe, is this the mini games? You, there's these giant coins, like your Donkey Kong coins or whatever, whatever. Mm. And there's just three different mini games that you can play. Something to take you away from the game. That's not too bad, I don't think. It's something different, plus it really, each one really made the DualShock, the sticks different. There was a boxing one where each, each stick controlled a different arm. They're skiing. I believe there was a space shooter. A schmop. Mm. This is the main gadget training room in case you need to refresh your course. Mm. Something I really liked is this last guy here, this straight ahead guy. Yeah. You don't get that until you beat the game. So you actually you had a reason to keep going. This is the safe spot. And then we just continue on. Cool. I have legitimately never beaten like 100% this game. I have gotten, I'm at like 90, 95% or something like that. And there's like, what, what is it like? Oops, let me do that. Um, there's, I think over, over 300 monkeys or something like that to catch and you need a hundred and something to beat the game mm. and it's it's one of those games where you get the different weapons god you get the different weapons and you get to go back and recapture the monkeys that you couldn't get like the level we just did there was another monkey up on a cliff yeah and we couldn't get that one and then another thing and you're not a big fan of it i'm not a big fan of it but once you 100 once you once you get all the hundred mo the monkeys from the level, then you can time trial. Mm. So there is like a speedrun aspect to it, which I never did, and it doesn't really add anything to it, I don't believe, because it's the same four monkeys, same locations, but... Yeah. It's kind of cool. One thing I never really got was... You got sent, and maybe it was in the plot, I don't understand, but... Um, you got sent back in a time machine, right? Mm. And here, the first, I believe, four levels are prehistoric levels. And then, but later on, you go to like, pre you go to like, future Tokyo and stuff like that. But it's like, I don't understand that because it's a time machine, not not a travel machine. Well, the time machines continue forward in time. I know, but it's not the same. It's not the same location. You know what I mean? We're not at this time station that where we were. 
but it's like, oh, we're in Tokyo, and now we're going to be in Paris, and now it's going to be here, and it's going to be here, and I mean, I get that it was for location's sake, but it's like, it's not the same place. It's just lazy. <laughs> then something else, uh, there were, there, you know Ape Escape 1, 2, and 3. Do you know the story of Million Monkeys? Nope. Million Monkeys was the fourth one to come out, and I believe it was going to be one of the last first PS2, PS3 kind of games. And the whole thing is, I believe there was a million monkeys in it, and it came back to Spike. But I don't think it ever came here because it was it was apparently really dark. <laughs> like you don't you get you know the you get the stun club and this this, but like and I believe in that one you got a gun. <laughs> and like a big draw was you got to actually like you could capture them or kill them. <laughs> the professor was just like, I'm tired of this bullshit. That's well, fucking pretty killing. much. Something else I never really that really plays into this whole why isn't why isn't this guy the mascot thing was there was a cartoon. I don't think it ever came here, but there was a cartoon and it had Spike. So, like, why he wasn't in the next two as a main character, I don't understand. Yeah. Because he's a pretty cool character. Like, looking at him, he's kind of plain by today's standards, but back then he's kind of iconic with the... I don't know if that's supposed to be a hat, or if he's just got a blonde streak in his hair, or what, but, you know what I mean? It, it was different for 99. It's like they tried to make a character that was like a mix of Ash from Pokemon and whoever the main character from fucking, like... Digimon was. Yeah. I think that Jake is more of a Digimon character, you know what I mean? Because he's got the long fucking hair and shit. I mean, this guy's got the spiky hair. He's so got he's the spiky hair, at but At least like, a Yu-Gi-Oh ripoff. Yeah, that's true. But... There's... Oh, see? The coins aren't fucking hard to find. I don't... I don't care. I'm not I'm not trying to 100% this. I'm just trying to enlighten the people with one of my favorite games of all time. <laughs> Fucking plessy ass. I never understood the appeal of Ape Escape. I mean, like, I get it. It's a fun little platform where you bonk monkeys on the head and capture them or whatever, but I don't know. I never saw the appeal of it. This one I always saw. I, I love this one just because... I don't know what happened, or what happened in the meetings, but, like, 2 got really cartoony, and 3 was, like, Mario Party 2, where you changed costumes, and you got to be a boy, or you got to be a girl, and some levels you had to be the boy, and some levels you had to be the girl, and it's like, uh, it wasn't as fun as it should have been, because I beat... I remember I got Ape Escape, I believe, two, like, one of the first days it came out, because we had to take one of my family members back to the airport or something like that, and I, play, and I played it, you know, we took him back to the airport, so it was like 3, 4 in the morning, and we went to Walmart, so we yeah. didn't get home until like 6, and I stayed up, because I was really low, and I, I think I beat it that day, because it just didn't have, you know what I mean, they like toned it down, and it's like, this is stupid. <laughs> I just hated it. And then, but, you know what I mean, I had one, I had two, I had to play three, and and then, have you ever played the uh, PSP version of this? Nope. I have, I have it, it's called On the, On the, On the Loose or something like that, and it completely fucks everything up, because <laughs> the PSP only has one stick. Yeah. So... It made the face buttons actually do something like what you thought, and it is, it's kind of boring. You know what I mean? Because it doesn't, it's, or maybe it was like D-pad moved you and stick did stuff, but they were like both right here, so it's like really hard to fucking control. Um, let's see. I don't think this looks, for 99, this graphically doesn't look terrible. Yeah, I mean, it looks pretty good. It, it's, I mean, by today's standards, it's probably crap, but it, it, I think it's holding up pretty well. Sorry if I'm too good at this, guys. 
It gets it gets kind of hard later on once you start. Fuck. Oh, I got it. Uh, once you get later on and you have to learn the different mechanics and like RC cars and shit like that, it gets kind of hard. But these first tutorial levels are pretty pretty easy and they're pretty. I think they're pretty fun. Yeah. But. You never, you never saw the appeal, but you didn't really have a PlayStation growing up either, though, did you? No. Not really. So, would this been, would this have been a game that you would have played? Uh, it doesn't seem like one. But you gotta think this is '99 you too, though. So. Well, '99 me was playing nothing but WWF No Mercy and <laughs> shit like that. That's true. And like Mario Tennis and shit. And see, I never had a 64 till later on, so I had this. And it was really weird, because, you know what I mean, this was, this was like a PlayStation 1, I would say, flagship kind of game. And all my friends, it was, they had, they were borrowing this game, and I'm like, you have, like, Metal Gear, and you have, they, I remember trading this off a bunch, and I got to play like Dino Crisis, and, and then there was Metal Gear, and I got to play all sorts of like the other flagship games, and it's like, why don't you guys have this one? Because I was the only one I knew that had this one. Yeah. Fuck! I'll just do it the right way and have him run into shit. No, I won't. Fuck you, Dino Man. But, like, for being little, this level here's got some, like, it's got some atmosphere to it. I mean, it, this part's a little spooky. For me, it was. I also didn't like, and we can't really hear it because the sound's down, but when you, he jumped up, you know, how he said yes? Mm. His voice is normal, but when, like when he jumps in game, it's like hurry up! It's like really deep, and it's really not like even the same voice actor. Like I don't understand. Can't be worse than what a Rayman originally sounded like. <laughs> oh, that dude! <laughs> that yeah, yeah. yeah. And PlayStation was a weird time. Yeah, but PlayStation was a weird time, but at the same time, PlayStation was kind of a fun time because it was a new console, you had more bits and graphics and all that to work with, so it wasn't all formulaic, which I always liked. That's why, like, when we go in those places and try and get games and stuff, I always look for this kind of stuff more because it's like, you never know what kind of weird shit you're going to run into. <laughs> And that's what makes it fun. Yeah. Another thing that doesn't really make sense to me is this was a... This Sony made this game. Like, no other company made it. And after after 3 in the States, they didn't make anymore. They kind of let the franchise die. And it's like, why? Well, it's probably poor sales. Poor sales, maybe, but he was really well received in uh, All Stars. You know what I mean? And I was happy to see him there. And a lot of people were, but it's like uh, we don't care. You, it's stuff like that's gonna that gets people's like nostalgia filters on. Yeah, but especially now since they're trying to be all formulaic and stuff like that, you could totally bring this kind of stuff back. Because with the touchpad and all that crap, or even put it on Vita, you could do really good stuff with this. That's the same with, um, what's that other game? Uh, Medieval? With Sir Dan? I love that game. That game could, that game could come back. 